Is it possible that we're in the last generation? Have we been blind to the last 100 years of war, deaths, famine, plagues, and disasters? Have we been desensitized to the estimated 1 billion babies aborted in this past century? I believe that while in our own comforts and blessings, we've been ignorant to the untold suffering, tribulations, that one third of the population have been experiencing. Shalom Aleyhem family. This presentation you're about to view is one of six chapters from my documentary, The Time of Jacob's Trouble, Part 2. For all chapters and additional content, please refer to the full movie. Thank you for your support and God bless you. No, no I don't understand all of Revelation explanation of God's judgment on this earth. But I do know it's not the way Hollywood explains it. And I also know that there's a difference between tribulation, the great tribulation, and God's final wrath. And I believe that like a coming storm, or as Yahshua explained, a woman's birthing pains, the pains or tribulations of God's bowls of judgment are pouring out over a span of time. And most people don't even notice. Nothing was the way it used to be. And the sky is green. Dad, I'm really, really scared. I've been for a walk on a winter's day. We're going to get our daughter, I promise. California dreaming of. Is this what you think it should look like? Well, maybe it is when God's final wrath comes at the end. But right now, this is what it looks like. The enemy has caused the world to believe a lie. The picture painted by Hollywood does not often expose the current reality and tribulation, which comes before the great day of our Lord. The word Armageddon is deceptive in its use by the world. I like to refer to it how it is, Mount Megiddo, the place of judgment for all who are the enemy of the true and living God. The word Armageddon is used generically today to refer to any type of catastrophic conflict, especially if it's seen as likely to result in widespread destruction or the annihilation of human life. In the Bible, Armageddon refers to a climactic future battle between God and the forces of evil. The word ultimately is derived from a Hebrew word, which means Mount Megiddo, the predicted location of the battle. Revelation 16, 12 through 16 is the record of what will happen toward the end of the tribulation, when an angel pours out the sixth bowl judgment on the earth. 
The word Armageddon makes its only appearance in the Bible in this passage. The sixth angel poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its water was dried up to prepare the way for the kings from the east. Then I saw three impure spirits that looked like frogs. They came out of the mouth of the dragon, out of the mouth of the beast, and out of the mouth of the false prophet. They are demonic spirits that perform signs, and they go out to the kings of the whole world to gather them for the battle on the great day of God Almighty. Then they gather the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. In Revelation 19, 11 through 18, a final battle occurs at Christ's second coming as the conquering Christ defeats the forces of the Antichrist. We take this to be a description of the battle of Armageddon. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. The armies of heaven were following him, riding on white horses and dressed in fine linen, white and clean. Coming out of his mouth is a sharp sword with which to strike down the nations. On his robe and on his thigh he has this name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to wage war against the rider on the horse and his army. But the beast was captured, and with it the false prophet who had performed the signs on its behalf. The two of them were thrown alive into the fiery lake of burning sulfur. The rest were killed with the sword coming out of the mouth of the rider on the horse, and all the birds gorged themselves on their flesh. The exact location of Armageddon is unclear, because there is no mountain called Megiddo. However, since part of the original Hebrew word can also mean hill, the most likely location is the hill country surrounding the plain of Megiddo, some 60 miles north of Jerusalem. The Anatomy of a Storm Storms don't often come out of nowhere. They take time to grow. And while the seeds of the storm are subtle in the beginning, those with eyes to see can tell the signs. Let's take a look at some of those signs now. A wise person sees the warning and takes refuge. While blue skies give way to gray, the storm reminds us of its intentions with powerful thunders. I guess if it were possible for one to be distracted, a storm might just sneak right up on a person as a thief in the night. When the Bible speaks of the Antichrist, it explains it as his spirit has already been here. And when our Messiah speaks of tribulation and the coming wrath, does he not explain it as a woman in labor? Does a woman in labor not have growing intensity of pain as she nears the birth? And don't be deceived by those pains. They're already here. Most just don't see it, but many others do. You see, while many say we're not appointed to God's wrath, and they are correct, but it should be noted that the word tribulation doesn't mean wrath, it means persecution. It's a time of anguish and burden. It's a time of famine and war. It's a time of trouble, Jacob's trouble. It's like the pains of a woman before she's given birth. And just like the Bible explained the spirit of the Antichrist has already been here, I believe the tribulation and the judgment of God has already been pouring out. And I believe God's judgment on earth are like these storms, like the seasons. Unlike his final wrath in the end, these other judgments are covering a span of time. And I believe the majority of God's judgment poured out can be seen in the last 100 years during the time that knowledge has increased, when people have gone to and fro, and we don't even notice it. Is it possible we don't see it? Because the prince of the power of the air and the spiritual principalities who are at war with us have blinded man, and through tools of Hollywood, have we been made to believe that God's judgment bowls would be poured out all at once? But neither the bowls nor the horsemen of Revelation 
are the final wrath of God. Matthew 24, 6 You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Oh, yes, it will. 